know, you do bring up a good point, Scott. I don't know about you, but at the beginning of 2021, I definitely had so many goals and aspirations for the new year. And, and so my question to you listeners is, how has this new year been going for you? My life is a mess. It's only been one month into the year and already all my plans for a spectacular new year have completely dissipated. My room is such a disaster, I don't even know the color of my floor anymore. My brain is thinking about a million different things at once and I've contacted the authorities because my social life has been missing for quite a while now, and society is just slipping into this weird, messed up dystopian fiction that I can't even believe is real life. The pandemic definitely took its toll on all of us last year, but it's a new year. We ventured into 2021, or as I like to call it, ISOS, which by the way, has not magically erased the fact that we're still in a worldwide pandemic, but we all had this newfound sense of motivation and freshness, and at the beginning of a new year, this motivation is like rocket fuel, but on crack. You never really know how long the crack lasts. Although, this is coming from someone who's never done crack before, so maybe just take this with a little grain of salt. Like everyone else, I want to change my life around in 2021, but I don't want it to just be some short-lasting spurt of energy because that usually ends up with me back in the same exact dumpster fire like two weeks later. This year, I want to build some good habits that actually stick. This year, I want to get my shit together and document the process. This is The Glow Up Project. Good morning, hooligans. For the past couple of months, I've been waking up very late and it's something I'm trying to change. I feel like over 2020, I've picked up a bunch of bad habits that I'm just trying to reverse this year and my sleeping schedule is definitely one of them. I also have this really bad habit of waking up and just going on my phone for hours in bed without getting up or going to like brush my teeth and eat breakfast, but it is time to make some changes, love. So, today, I'm gonna first of all stop doing the accent that much. It's like five different accents in one. I'm so sorry to anyone that I offended. Today, I'm just gonna be going through my day and making simple little changes. But of course, some of them are long-term projects that can't be overturned in one day. So, I have quite the creative solution for that that you'll just have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. In the meantime, let's get out of bed! So my skin has been a big concern of mine. I keep going through phases of like good skin and then bad skin and then good skin and then bad skin. I'm currently going through a phase of bad skin. It really just has to do with my sleeping and life habits. So I'm trying to clear up my skin this year, hopefully by drinking water, sleeping more, exercising, because I definitely don't think I'm like prone to bad skin chronically. Sorry, let's go eat some breakfast.
I just finished my breakfast and here's the thing about food is I don't necessarily have bad eating habits I eat pretty healthy but the thing is like I don't know how to cook if someone like threatened me like i would cook but i'm a very big perfectionist and it also applies to cooking so like even when i'm making my avocado toast i have to spread it to like all of the edges perfectly because every bite needs some avocado so i really want to start cooking this year because i'm currently living at home in my parents house um because i've been stuck here and they cook every day so i'm super lucky but like at, at some point girly needs to like adult up and like cook for herself because girly's gonna starve at some point so let's do some glowing up okay so i'm back in the bathroom and i'm ready to whiten my teeth they don't they don't look too yellow in this light but i have my whitening gel and i don't actually remember how long i'm supposed to leave it in for so Let's just hope that by the end of it, I still have teeth. I have my Invisalign trays here. I feel like whitening your teeth is just like one of those little things that like, for me, it really boosts my confidence because in pictures, it's like, wow. It's not coming out. It just exploded. There's definitely an innuendo in there. Okay, you definitely can't see it, but I just like inserted a little bit of the, the gel into the front of the trays. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I talked about this a bit on my Instagram stories, but I've been having jaw issues, and now I know what you're thinking. It's not from performing sexual acts. So basically the issue is my jaw opens diagonally. Like the lower jaw opens that way. And it's not supposed to do that. And I also have like limited jaw motion and it kind of hurts sometimes. You guys helped me figure out that it was actually TMJ. So I booked an appointment with my orthodontist and then they referred me to a TMJ specialist. However, it turns out that TMJ specialists are like in super high demand or something because I booked an appointment in December and I could only get one for late February. So. Girlie has just had a clicking jaw for a couple months now and if I talk for more than 10 minutes like my jaw starts to lock up and I like can't speak properly. It's not quite fun, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I would like to use my jaw properly. Time to pop them in. Okay, shoot, I don't remember how long you're supposed to keep it in for. Should I search it up? Five to 10 minutes? Okay, that's not it. Due to high concentration, start with 15 minutes wear time tw twice a day. If no sensitivity occurs, follow regular wear time instruction of 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. Twice a day for- Bro, twice a day? That's a little intense. Like, do they want me to have teeth after this? I feel like they're just gonna like disintegrate. So how are you gonna tell me five to 10 minutes and then you could also do 30 minutes? Like, which is it? So it's like five to 30 minutes. Like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm gonna say like 15 minutes. Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. I will check back in and hopefully I will still have teeth left. Okay, my alarm just went off. I took a little poopy break. Okay. Okay guys, do we see any difference? I don't like feel a difference. Like my teeth feel a little sensitive, but I think the other issue is because it's trays, the solution like sinks to the bottom. So like for my top teeth, only the bottom half get whitened and the top half are like still yellow. Okay, I'm now in a different bathroom of my house and I just passed by and my curling iron is in here. I honestly wasn't planning on doing this, but I figured let's just curl my hair just for funsies. Yeah, my teeth are so yellow. Like, what is up with that? Wait, it's literally ombre. Like, it's literally ombre. <laughs> no. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, it's like yellow to white and then white to yellow. Can you see it? Actually, I do think it's whiter in general. Ugh. I also have to keep massaging my jaw because or else it's gonna get locked up. Is this something after there's nothing to say? We're just moving in circles, but we're losing our shape. Okay, I've just finished curling and I look like I look like Catherine Pierce, if you will. But of course I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna fluff it out. And it always looks better when it's like slightly calmed down. This is like really intense right now. Okay, this look, I'm also seeing stars. Um, I'm gonna let it calm down for a little bit and I will show you the results. 
because the next day, literally it took a day for it to calm down, but this is my ideal waviness. I actually want to do my nails. I love painting my nails. It's like one of my favorite calming hobbies because it takes me a very, okay, you know what? Let's just go first. Excited. I haven't been this excited to do anything in a very long time. Hey, I literally I don't remember what my previous sentence was, so I'm just gonna start a new thought. Here's the thing about quarantine. I think I've been really unmotivated as well as probably you guys because like every day is kind of the same. Even though I am a super introverted and like homebody type of person, I feel like even I'm reaching my limit and I'm like, okay guys, it's been a year. Like, can we wrap it up now? Usually you would have something to look forward to. I have no events to look forward to, no friend hangouts. And I feel like it's really made me put into perspective how how much humans need social interaction. I'm someone who loves being by myself, but every now and then I feel myself slipping into this depressing spiral where a week goes by and I won't talk to anyone and then I won't even realize how in this black hole I've gotten until I actually speak to a friend or something that I realize I have been like slipping into oblivion. It's really made me appreciate my friends a lot more and family and just overall health, which is why I really want to take care of myself because I feel like we all kind of beat up our bodies and like push it to the extreme, like by not sleeping or not exercising. Our bodies do so much for us, but then like we don't take care of our bodies. Like why is it so hard for us to take care of ourselves and like be motivated to be healthy when that's what our body wants? Hi guys. My hair is straight again. It actually has been a couple of days. I didn't film because I kind of had a pretty shit a couple of days, I'm not gonna lie. So I just like wasn't in the mood to film. Today, I, I'm feeling a little better. I want to do some more glowing up superficially because the internal glow up is... <laughs> It's a lot harder. I want to do my eyebrows today. They're growing in a little bit. They're not too bad, but I also want to pluck my mustache. I don't know if you can see, but like, can we normalize girls having natural facial hair? As a kid, I used to have a lot of facial hair and I was like so embarrassed about it and I like didn't have tweezers growing up so I would like literally pull it out with my fingernails and my eyebrows also used to be like giant so I would pull out my eyebrows because kids made fun of my eyebrows because back then it was like the trend to have like super skinny sperm brows. It hurts. <sighs> Pain. Liam pain minus the Liam. Liam pain minus the L. Spain minus the S. Okay, you get it. <gasps> ah! Oh, I made it look kind of spermy. No, does it look kind of spermy? <laughs> you know when you're like contemplating whether or not that one eyebrow hair is gonna make a difference if you pluck it? Yeah, I think I've done that. I kinda don't like it, I don't like it. Not my best work. Yeah, what's wrong? Like why? Why do you look like this? Can you just work with me please? Literally, like why do you look like this? Like why do you look like this? Hello, I'm asking you a question. So rude of them not to answer. Am I overthinking it? Ugh, it looks, no, I don't like it. Oh, this is freaking hurts. This hurts a lot more than the eyebrows. Ta-da! Do I look any different? I feel like my face feels more pained. Ugh, I'm not gonna lie to you. It does feel very nice to have a smooth mustache area. I've tried waxing before, but then I just like straight up broke out. So. It's been a couple days, which means I have to recurl my hair. You might be wondering, or you might not, I don't care. Why didn't you film for the past couple of days? As a YouTuber, my life is inherently very glamorous. I'm always hustling and grinding and being productive. I would never just sit on my ass and binge watch Bridgerton in one single day. Could not be me. Could not be farther from the truth. I don't know what the slander is. But there have been a couple of positive developments over the past couple days. So I recently got a film camera, how basic of me, and decided, you know what, I probably should go outside more because fresh air is kind of nice. So that day I decided to drive out and watch the sunset with my mom. And it was really nice. I was like, wow, I guess the real world does exist. It may be a simulation, 
but it exists kind of i mean i don't know needless to say girlie has not been getting that fresh o2 and i think it's causing some health problems with me i've been losing hair my skin has been sagging like girlie over here is 22 i should be at the prime of my life so we really gotta turn things around speaking of turning things around oh 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 Okay, time for makeup. Lip scrub. I have chapped lips all the time because I don't drink water. Well, I probably should drink water, but I'm gonna do lazy, so I'm just gonna like... <gasps> Yummy, sugar and dead skin. I just washed my beauty blender and it's so clean. I haven't washed it in probably like a year. And I wonder why I break out so much. And for the final touches. She's outside. Oh my god, it's really windy. Alright, it's been a couple hours later and um, as much as I think this external glow up was a success and does make me feel a little more glamorous and put together as a person, like I said, these internal glow ups take a lot more time and a lot more effort. So, I have an idea. <laughs> so many aspects of my life that I want to improve from my sleeping schedule to room cleanliness to fashion sense to love life and so on. I feel like they're all interconnected in the way that once I work on one aspect, other aspects of my life will also improve and hopefully by the end of the series and journey, I'll live a much more fulfilling and healthy life. So welcome to the Glow Up Project. I do have this slight issue with indecisiveness though, and so I figure, why not make this easy for myself and let the board decide what I should glow up next? So, where will my dart throwing skills lead us? What comes next? I guess we'll just have to wait and see.